What's up guys, it's Nisha Nichelle and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look on my hair. Okay, period. Period. I actually really like the way it turned out. Um, sometimes I'm like, ugh. It's just because I'm not used to it though, but I really like the way it turned out. So if you want to see how I got this look and it could possibly help you out, keep watching. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was down and up. Starting off is some um, B12, BW2. I say B12. BW2 bleach. And of course, you're going to need. Um, of course, you're going to need a spoon and a brush. A spoon. And why can't I talk? Why can't I talk? Of course, you're gonna need a bowl and a brush. I decided to use Kiss Colors. I was gonna go with Adore because that's what I've been seeing, but they didn't have the color that I wanted, so I just had to go with this one. You're gonna need some gloves. So I got some gloves so I can keep my nails safe, honestly, and then the developer. I got 30 developers, so we're gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. So, of course, you're gonna put your gloves on. Make sure your nails, your hands are protected. And then right here, I'm just adding the bleach into the bowl. I only did three scoops for my first time, but I ended up using a lot more bleach. So it really doesn't matter how much you put because if you're dying a whole way, you're going to use a lot. Mind you, this bleach, like you can see, is flying around and stuff. So if you have like something to cover your nose, your mouth and stuff like that with, definitely use that because it was getting in my nose the whole time. And I kept on adding developer. You just want to get like to a paste. Um, it's not necessarily, I can't tell you necessarily how much you should add. But like you see, I kept going back and adding more into you. It should be like kind of the consistency of a toothpaste. See? So yeah. Right here, I'm just going in to try to uh, pin the wig down and section it off. Actually, I only sectioned it half up, half down. I think that's what it looks like. And I wish I would have sectioned it more looking back at it because it would have been easier. And as you can see, I'm starting from the bottom and then I'm going to work my way up to the roots of the hair. This bleach was actually kind of hard for me to apply. I'm not even going to lie to you. But I start my way from the bottom and then I work my way up to the roots of the hair. And you want to make sure that you're getting all parts of the hair. So like split the hair, make sure you turn the hair upside down to make sure you get in the back part that's going to be by your neck. And just kind of rub your fingers through. Um, you can brush it or comb it through to make sure you're getting every single strand because you want every single strand to be um, bleached. I just continue to do this around the whole head, the same um, method. As you can see right here, it's starting to turn a little bit. I got 30 to volume, 30 volume developer. So I just wanted to show y'all how it was turning a little bit. I got 30 to volume developer because I'm a beginner and I wanted to see it change a little bit slower just in case, you know, I was a little bit scared. However, if you know that you trying to get the blondest blonde that you could possibly get, probably really won't matter what developer you get. So after I got done blow, I mean, bleaching it and stuff, this is how it came out. And it's good in some spaces, you know, you see, but I'm definitely going to have to lift it another time because it's not consistent all over the whole wig. Like see in the front, it's really bleached. So I'm going to go in and just bleach it one more time, but I have to blow dry it first because if you try to bleach it while it's wet, it won't process. So I'm going to go back in and the spots that I see that need it, um, I'm going to put it on there and I'm probably still going to just put it over the whole head again because this is going to have to be lighter to me to achieve the color that I want. Like for me to get this vibrant of a color, it's going to have to be lighter. So I'm just going to go in, blow dry it, 
and bleach it again. I forgot to tell you guys, I kept the bleach on for like, I wanna say 20 to 30 minutes each time. Um, Yeah, 20 to 30 minutes about each time. Right here, I'm just going in and sectioning off, or I was trying to, but then I realized that I was just going to put it on there in the places that I saw needed it. So like this black patch right here is what I'm trying to get to. Um, because obviously I don't want a black patch in the front of my head. So I'm just basically going through the wig and trying to see which places need more bleach. And I'm putting bleach on them. And as you guys can see too, after I blow dried it out, it actually looked more blonde than it did when I was, um, when it was wet. So that was surprising to me, honestly. Um, it looks way more blonde than it did when it was wet. I'm gonna be honest, I really just started slapping bleach on, slapping bleach on there because I was like, bump it. Like I want, like I wanted the lightest color I could possibly get so the orange could be very vibrant or the ginger could be very vibrant and I was making a mess. I just started putting it on there. <laughs> Okay, so for the second time, this is how it turned out. I feel like it's really giving me a hard time trying to keep bleaching it. So I'm just going to, um, the Kiss dye says to put it on towel dry hair. So I'm just gonna kind of blow dry it up just a little bit and leave it a little bit damp and just go ahead and go in with the dye because I wanna keep bleaching this hair. After some, some hair after a while, it just doesn't lift anymore. But most of the pieces that were just black seem to have turned in a shade of brown so i'm assuming it's going to come out kind of highlighted because some parts are really blonde and some parts are just a little bit brown so see how it turns out wish me luck <laughs> i blow dried this hair on cool just because it said towel dry so i didn't want to put any heat on the hair i'm going in with the kiss dye i'm gonna put it in this bowl and um, I did not put the whole thing in the bowl because I was scared. Um, basically, just like what I did with the bleach, I just added more as I needed it. And then I go in also with some conditioner, just a little bit. You don't want to put too much conditioner because it will, um, what am I trying to say? It'll, it'll affect how it dyes your hair. Like it won't dye as vibrantly, but you want to use conditioner because you just put bleach on your hair and you don't want your hair to dry out too much. So you wanna use just a little bit of conditioner, mix it in there really well, and go in and start to dye your hair. So I did not know that my camera was off this whole time, and I had just started going and dye the hair, but it's basically the same process I used with the bleaching. I started from the bottom up, and I continue to go right here. I'm trying to get these baby hairs because you don't want your baby hairs a different color than your whole head. And I'm just going through and getting the pieces that I might have missed on this side. And yeah. Now I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it since my camera died. I'm just gonna just do a piece and show you guys how I did it in case you just wanna see it. sectioned it off the same way I did with the bleach and I'm just gonna go in from the bottom up and make sure that I get every single strand the dye was so so much easier to apply because it's more liquefied um it's a more liquidy consistency and so that was just so much more easier to apply than the bleach Just to let you guys know, when I washed this hair, I washed it with a toner um, that was good for like dyed hair. So make sure you guys do that because you don't wanna wash the dye out of your hair. That would defeat the whole purpose. So 
and I conditioned it really well before I put it on my head. So this is basically how it turned out. Not too sure that I like it yet, but you know, you never know until you put it on your head. So I'm just gonna try to blow dry it out a little bit. The color definitely came out like it should have. It's just that, you know, I was telling y'all about the bleach. Um, it bleached lighter in some places than it did in others, and it's basically just showing that. However, it's not ugly. Like, I like it. It's it's sort of kind of what I was going for. So I actually ended up going to sleep last night, but this is how it ended up turning out. This is how the hair ended up turning out. And I installed it, and now I'm about to do my makeup and show you guys the finished look. Oh, boom, baby, I'm back. Um, and I just wanted to show y'all, this is the finished look. This is how the hair color came out. And this is it with my makeup, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it and I'm so sorry that this video is so choppy. I don't know how it's going to be when I edit it, but I feel like it's so choppy. Like I done had like three different outfit changes, but it's because I'm in college and like I was having to do stuff in between like the videos. So it wasn't just like one consistent video the whole time, except for me like dying it and stuff last night. That was one video, but then I did a piece today and then this is tonight before I go to work. So I just want to show y'all it with my makeup on popping or whatever uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications cuz um you want to know when your girl posting okay period and I'll see you guys later adios muchachas I like to cha cha and a Latin bar yeah with a Dominican and reasonable sign